In the 1950s, they introduced chemical farming. From the 1950s, we have had an epidemic of cancer in the Western world. So what is the effect of this? Because they've been using fungicides on fruit and vegetables, they've been killing the funguses and the fungal attacks artificially, which means the, pl the fruit and vegetable plants are no longer producing salvestrols to, to, to deal with the fungal attack because it's being done externally for them. But here's the killer that they, they know what they're doing. The most used fungicides used in the world have another effect. They neutralize the effect of CYP1B1, the enzyme in cancer cells. So you can eat all the salvestrols you like, but if your body accumulates the fungicide poisons through eating these foods, it won't matter anyway because the salvestrol will not be activated as a cancer killing agent because the enzyme within the cancer cell has been neutralized. And after 20 years of research of these people, that is absolutely no accident. They know exactly what they're doing. And that's why in America now, this bill um, is going through to make it virtually impossible for people to produce organic food in America when this bill goes through. Because if you eat organic fruit and vegetables of this type, then you have, you, they are rich in salvestrols because they're still producing them to fight off fungal attack because there's no fungicide getting in the way. Vaccines. 25 vaccines by the age of two. A emerging, uh, growing immune system gets attacked with that shite in that period of time and we think that children are going to grow into adults with immune systems that are as effective as they could be, you're having a bloody laugh. And these uh, things that vaccines were supposed to get rid of were in free fall between the before the vaccines came in. Not a scam. And of course the immune system is the antivirus system. If that's not working, we became open to endless other attacks, which is what chemotherapy does in cancer treatment. It kills the cells in the immune system, which is why people that have chemotherapy have um, shot immune systems that are open to other things. And so there's also a, an attack going on now, as we've seen through this uh, um, organization trying to um, reduce the doses and the sources of food supplements and stuff. It's all an attack. This guy... Uh, Codex Alimentarius, um, which is trying to uh, create um, regulations that basically make uh, food supplements and other things a waste of time because of the doses and the, the uh, quality of them. And Codex Alimentarius came out of the people behind the IG Farben chemical cartel, pharmaceutical cartel that was behind the Auschwitz concentration camps and much more. And this guy, Fritz Tamir, who was jailed by the Nuremberg trials, for seven years for war crimes and was got out after four thanks to Nelson Rockefeller, his friend in America. Um, he was the man with others in the 1960s that set up Codex Alimentarius, which is now um, uh, trying to destroy our ability to um, bridge the gap between what we used to get from fruit and vegetables and food and we don't get now. It's mass culling of the population, that's what they're after, and international law, international regulations is the way they're doing it. The reason international law is the, now, is the code word that you, or term that you see all the time now is because if you want a world government dictatorship, you have to have laws that everyone on the planet obeys and has to obey. That's where your dictatorship comes from, and that's why international law, international regulations are coming up everywhere. Same with this electromagnetic uh, suit that we live in now. It's attacking the body electromagnetically uh, and electrically to stop us um, uh, operating on the level that we can. Before we have a break, I'll just finish with this because this is so, so important. Um, the carbon con. We are being sold one of the most blatant lies, at least of modern times, and probably more than that. In this network, you'll see the Club of Rome, started in 1968. The Club of Rome is there to, within the network to manipulate the environmental movement to advance this agenda of global centralization. 
This is the um, founder of the Club of Rome, Ulio Pecci, quoted in one of its own publications in 1991. In searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine and the like would fit the bill. And that is what they have done. The greenhouse effect. Oh, it doesn't let heat out, so the planet warms and it's, it's the greenhouse gases and it's, it's carbon dioxide.